Mr. Hey, Mr. Mr. J. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobokiya statue review on the Kotobokiya's artifacts plus the Joker from the Endgame storyline. If you're trying to pre-order this figure, you can do so. I'm making it big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And thank you so much, Kotobokiya, for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, check the links below. Very cool looking statue already. We have the clear packaging on the side. You can see a cool image of the Joker. I like it. And then on the back says Endgame right over there. You get the Batman symbol. And then it says Endgame at the top and not much more at the bottom. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Joker out of the packaging. And this is a beautiful statue. I really like how it emulates Greg Capullo's artwork very well. We'll take a closer look at the face sculpt in a minute. I like how the gunmetal looks right there on his pistol. That looks really awesome. He has this great looking knife. And of course, we get the magnetic base. You can see the magnets under the feet right over there. Also has some peg holes. But anyway, let's take a closer look at this guy. Yeah, I think that's a very cool head sculpt. I like it. Very scary looking. He does not have eyebrows. In some images, he does have eyebrows that I've seen online. I have not read the storyline of Endgame. I need to. I want to. I like Capullo. But, uh, and I like Snyder. Scott Snyder also. But anyway, looking over here on the side of it, you can see some nice shadowing effect with the paint on this statue. It looks really good. You can even see some texturing right over there. Really nice. I like how that dark black paint comes around his eyes. I think that looks great. The mouth itself, just all on its own, man. Ooh, a lot of details in there. Really digging that a lot. The eyes look beautiful. You can see the green eyes right there. It's kind of dark. And looking on this side, you get a lot more details and everything. Even as I darken things up, you can see it a little bit better. I think that's great. Nice color variation in his hair. The hair looks really good. I'm liking how the gloves look over here too. Get a little bit of dirt on them. Nice gunmetal color right here for the blade. Very sharp too. I dig that. Looking on this side of it, looks pretty good too. I'm really digging all the wrinkles that we're getting in his clothes right over here. And this tie is a little bendable. You don't want to mess with it too much, but yeah, it's supposed to just hang down like that. That looks really good. Looking at the pistol right over here. The revolver looks really nice. Great gunmetal color for that. His pinky sticking out right over there. Nice buttons. Joker butt. Nice wrinkles in the trousers right there. Got the seam coming all the way down to the end. And he has his very shiny shoes. Yeah, not looking bad at all. And he does have peg holes down here. Well, it's actually like a little clip piece and then a peg hole on this side. And then here's just one last look at the back of the figure. Very cool. Now to measure this statue out, you can see while attached to the base, he's right at seven inches tall. And then without the base, he's right at six and a half inches tall. And then to compare Joker to another DC Comics Artifacts Plus villain, we have Lex Luthor. Then here's Joker next to the Artifacts Plus 2016 exclusive Bruce Wayne. And then for your Endgame Joker comparison, we have the Kotobukiya statue next to Mattel's DC Multiverse Endgame Joker right there. And I don't know if you could tell from over here, but this one does have the green eyebrows and this one does not have eyebrows at all, but they both have the same busted pinky. And then here's Joker next to the Marvel Legends big time let down Spider-Man. Now while you saw this statue standing on its own without the magnetic base, I don't recommend you leave it on there because it was a bit wobbly. But even as I just go like this, you can see it can rock back and forth a little bit. So you do need this magnetic base right over here. And I really like the statue. The face sculpt alone is just really awesome. And I really like the pose a lot too. And the weapons that he carries look great as well. So if you're into the Joker and you really like this end game version, I think you're really going to enjoy this piece. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the like button, click any of the boxes popping up over here for more shirt all over your face. Yeah, you just want it dripping, right? Anyway, hit the subscribe button right over there for more videos coming your way. If you have not yet checked out the last two videos, make sure you check both of those out by clicking the boxes over there. And don't forget to check me out on the social media. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to check out a photo gallery of images over at toynewseye.com. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. <laughs>